The best race, if not one of the best races in Dragon Ball Z Final Stand, is actually the humans. Now you might be wondering, this bald guy right here? Krillin's race, the humans, is the best, if not one of the best races in Dragon Ball Z Final Stand? Tell me why, Ropal. I'll tell you guys in just a second. Where's the intro at? Now, some of you might be thinking, hey, Robo, that's not true. Humans aren't the best race. The Saiyans are the best race. Saiyans aren't the best race. If you look at their base stats and everything, they're 26% weaker. That's a defined number. 26% weaker than all the other races in their base form. So, like, if you can't beat someone in their base form, what's the point in even being in that form? I'm kidding. But the thing is, although Saiyans have all the transformations and their transformations give the most stat boosts, like their Kaioken times 10 blue, that gives over 700 to almost every single stat. Now, that's a lot. And humans don't get near that much. They get the most 500. But the thing is, it matches Kaioken in terms of not the stat boost, but in terms of the level requirement. So for Kaioken times 10, Super Saiyan Blue, it's a level 425 requirement and you have to get 200,000 in-game money, which is Zenny, to get it. But in Final Stand for humans, if you need to prestige and you prestige, if you don't prestige and you're a god human, it's 100k in level 350 and you get 350 per stat. Now that's okay. And as a Super Saiyan 3 key drain, but... If you were to get a prestige form, which is Kaioken times 100 as a human, that's only 50k Zenny, and you only have to get level 325 for that. But your stats actually get boosted a lot more. It is 500 to every single stat except for health max and key max. And plus, you have a really fast health drain that's actually the same or not a little bit faster than Kaioken times 10. But it's a little bit more worth it because as a human, every time you level up, you get a stat boost or every other level, I mean. So... It replaces your mixed, Mystic Kaioken times 10, right? That's how Kaioken does 100. But it's a pinkish like Super Saiyan Rose and everything like that. And it actually takes a bit of your HP. But the key drain is almost non-existent from what I can hear. My boy Ethereal had him try it out and everything. He had a lot of key when he fought me. But his health drain was pretty high. It was a little bit higher than Super Saiyan Blue times 10 Kaioken. But my argument for the humans, guys, is this. So every few levels, the Saiyans get stats. I think it's like every three to four levels. But humans get it every other level. So every two levels, humans get one stat to every single one of their stat points. So if you were to do the math, it'd be, let's say you get to level 500. You'd have 250 stat points to a bunch of things, guys, okay? Keep that in mind. 250 free stat points given to you just from leveling up. Now, Saiyans would probably, if we're saying a third, they would probably have about 130, 150 stat points per. 160, I believe, somewhere around there, which is honestly not that high and that's honestly a waste of a saiyan's time to even try to get that much because it's level 500 you're gonna prestige either way to get super saiyan rose or legendary super saiyan and saiyans honestly don't get the best of the, bu the bunch and everything they get the new transformations but keep in mind guys although we get the new transformations we are far far from the strongest race we can do quite a bit of damage but we do the best damage when we're fused with another race not just another saiyan because saiyans mainly focus in melee damage if not key damage and even then we're not the best at key but when it comes to humans they are the most well-rounded race other than Majins then and Majins together form the most well-rounded races that get stats in every single stat point and everything it's very simple for humans to get those stat points and be choosing what they want to major in because either way their stat points get focused into other things too without their knowledge or without their consent because you get a stat point in every single thing after every other level so that's pretty OP for humans already but when it comes to saying you really got to pick what stats you put in because if not you kind of wasted your time, but with humans, even if you put your stat points into the wrong thing, you're still going to get other stat points into one different thing. So everything's going to get a stat point, regardless of the race you are for a human and for a Majin. But every other race, you don't really get that perk. But also when it comes to humans, guys, keep in mind, humans get something really cool too. The transformations are a lot cheaper than Saiyans, guys, okay? Saiyans have really expensive transformations. They're also really weak in their base form. But when it comes to the human race, their transformations are dirt cheap. It's like... Like, I think 50k to 300k for the max or something like that is very cheap. When it comes to Saiyans, we've had transformations that cost 500k. We've had transformations that cost literally, not 500k, excuse me, 50k to 100k. Now, that's very expensive. And then Super Saiyan Blue times 10 Kyle Ken is 200k. But that's also a lot. But Ultra Instinct for every race is 300k, so that makes sense. But it's a lot of Zenny to be spending on transformations for Saiyans because you have so many transformations to buy from. Meanwhile, for humans and other races, you don't really. You have so little transformations to buy from that you have a lot more Zenny than Saiyans do because Saiyans just want to focus on transformations. Meanwhile, humans can actually focus on their other things. Instead of just earning transformations, they can focus on leveling up more and get easier stats, which makes it a lot easier to level up. So, humans 
Another thing that they get that a lot of other races don't get, like Saiyans, and I think um, the Mechians don't get it either, they get the boost from Corrin on Earth. Corrin gives you roughly eight levels, I believe, or something like that. It gives you quite a bit of levels. Corrin is very, very useful on Earth, and then you also get the boost from the Guru on Namek. He gives you the level boost as well. Corrin and Guru help the humans, which makes it a lot easier for you to level up, so it's really, really good for humans to get that. But also, guys, keep in mind, when it comes to fighting a human against a Saiyan, of course you think the Saiyan's gonna win. But, as you've seen in my video, a Saiyan versus a human isn't the best matchup because the human can fare well against the Saiyan even if both of the races are prestiged. Now, because I barely lost to the human that I fought, which was Ethereal, it's because of his Kaioken times 100 health drain. Now, imagine if the human put everything into health max, or a lot into health max. They would be doing so, so much. Their health drain would be either belittled or would be the same. It depends on if it's a percentage boost or not. But if it's not, assuming it isn't, they have such a low health drain if they had so much health max. So you're pretty good when you're fighting another person, especially a Saiyan as a human. Now, a lot of you might be thinking, Robo, your arguments are not valid. These are stupid. What are you talking about? Don't worry, guys, okay? I'm going to be making other videos on different races telling you why they're a really good race. The first race I wanted to focus on was the human race because I know a lot of people really do like the humans. Humans, Majins, and Namekians almost get no light in the game. They get no attention. And I want to shine some spotlights on them for you guys because I know a lot of you guys aren't actually Saiyans and you want your race to get attention, to get new moves, to get new transformations and everything. Don't worry, guys. I got you. Your boy Robo is here to give you guys some insight on different races. So, guys, remember, this first video is going to be on humans. Humans have transformations like Kaioken, Kaioken times 4, Kaioken times 20, a Mystic transformation, Mystic Kaioken times 10, their god human form, and once prestiged, they have Kaioken times 100. Now, I'm comparing it mainly to the Saiyans because a lot of people argue that the Saiyans are really the strongest race. Saiyans have Super Saiyan, okay, Ascended, Full Power, and Super Saiyan 2. They also have Super Saiyan 3, they have Legendary Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan Blue times 10 Kaioken, and Super Saiyan Rose or Rosé. Now keep in mind, Rosé or Rose is a lot weaker than Super Saiyan Blue times 10 Kaioken. So if a Saiyan were to be prestiged and get Super Saiyan Blue times 10 Kaioken, they would be pretty OP because imagine the stat boost right there. That's like a lot to everything. But a human can still fare well against them because the human doesn't have... They both have health drains, but if a human went to God form, although they get a lot less stats, they have more stats than everything else. So they're a lot more well-rounded compared to the Saiyan, especially if they are the same level. The human could be able to beat the Saiyan depending on their skill level and also their stats and everything. Let's say the human was a level 500. They'd get 250 in every single stat. Correct me if I am wrong, but they get about 250 in every stat. That's pretty good, but keep in mind, at 250 stats and everything, that's also good. But you also get the stat points from leveling up as well, which is really, really good. You get like two per level up and everything like that. So imagine that, two per level up. So you'd have basically, what, a thousand to put in? Assuming it's a thousand to put in, correct me if I am wrong, that is pretty OP. Now, let's assume that it is every level as a human you were to get to every other level. Now that's okay too, because humans would basically get one for every level. The level 500, they'd have 500 free stat points to put in, which is very, very OP for the human because then you have 250 in everything, you put 500 in something extra, and you basically have 750 in anything you want. So let's say we put it in melee damage, 750 in melee damage compared to the Saiyans in Super Saiyan Blue Time 10 Kaioken, they get a 700 boost in everything. Now, let's say they had a 700 boost in everything, right? That's okay. They get a 700 boost in everything, that's okay. They get, like, let's say, like, up to, like, 700 max as well. But, as a human, if you were to use times 100 Kaioken, keep in mind, you're gonna be getting 500 for everything. So you can add 500 to that 700 and stuff like that, and you, you get so much. You can literally pass 1,000 in that one stat. Now imagine that, 1,000 stats in melee damage versus roughly 800 or 700 stats in melee damage against the Saiyan. Do the numbers, guys. It's very possible that the human race is a lot better than Saiyans, depending on if you do your math right. Now, a lot of you might be finding this boring. You're like, Robot, math is boring. Why are you talking about math? Math is literally the foundation foundation of Dragon Ball Z Final Stand. If you don't know the math behind your stats and your race and everything, you need to reevaluate what you're doing because it really, really does help you out in learning how strong you are against someone else and whether or not you can beat them based purely off a of stat and not skill. Now, skill does play a factor. A Saiyan might be better in skill term in terms of fighting compared to a human, or a human might be better in terms of skill against a Saiyan. I made a human account earlier, and I played on it, and I fought a level 15 as a level 4, and I beat him, guys, okay? It was all because of skill. I dodged every single one of his attacks. It all depends on your skill, guys. Your skill is very important factor, but your stats also play a crucial, critical role. But humans, overall, as well as the margins, 
they just get better stats every time they level up. Every other level, every time they level up. Those extra stats from leveling up and also those stats that just go everywhere in general make humans and Majins one of, if not the best two races in Dragon Ball Z Final Stand if you're just looking at the stats. If you were looking at the transformations, of course you can say, hey, this race is better. But it doesn't mean it's better just because the transformations are there. Just because Saiyans have like a bajillion, I know bajillion is not a real number, just because Saiyans have so many transformations does not mean they're stronger. Now, if you were to look at the Saiyans, let's count how many Super Saiyan transformations there are. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 Saiyan transformations specific to them. Now, that's quite a bit, but keep in mind, a three of them, I think, get replaced. So, it's basically 7 to 8 transformations for Saiyans. And then humans have roughly 7 transformations, including their prestige ones. 7 and 7 Humans have the same amount of transformations as Saiyans, basically, because those are the ones that they basically use and don't get replaced. But, keep in mind, this is all my opinion. I did the math. If you want to do the math as well and comment them down below, go ahead and do that, guys. I would appreciate it if you helped me out. It really does help me out when you guys try to correct me because it does fix my errors, help me with fix my mistakes, and make the next video even better. So, guys, okay? Now that this video is ending, I'm going to be ending it out right here, but the next video on Final Stand will be about why the Majin race is one of the best races. So if you want that, go ahead and comment down below if you like it. Put like hashtag Majin in the comments or like this video. This video is going to be really, really not quick, but really, really detailed because I want this series to be something involving the math behind Final Stand because your boy needs to get better at math. No, I'm kidding. Your boy, he knows that the math in Final Stand is a little bit faulty and it favors other races compared to others but people regardless of the math choose the more spiffy the more famous race now in final stand the math is important i'm going to be ending the video off here i'm not going to ramble on too much because i know you guys really want to get to your day and everything go to sleep if it's too late for you if it's early have some fun in school have some fun at church whatever hope you guys did enjoy this also by the time this video comes out pink merch is out guys get it okay the pink merch is pretty freaking fire get it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video till then it's been your boy robo i'm signing out now and i'll see you guys tomorrow peace